Hi guys, here's a tutorial on how to set up your hardware for mixing with the Nitrous 2 bus. Here we go! Here's what it looks like in real life. This is my digital to analog converter. 16 channels are converted from digital to analog so I can stem my audio out. Then the 16 channels coming out of the converter are going to my patch bay and are normaled to the inputs of my 2 bus. Normaled means they go there without you doing anything. Then, the stereo output of my 2 bus, because the 2 bus does the summing, I go from 16 to 2, gets patched back into the converter here, so it can go back to the DAW. So to summarize, we have 16 channels that are converted from digital to analog from this box. Those 16 channels are fed through the patch bay into the 2 bus. The 2 channels of the 2 bus are then fed through the patch bay again, back into the converter, sent back to the DAW. You do not need a patch bay, but it's an awful lot of fun. If you want to look at this as a diagram, here you go. DAW, digital into the converter. Converter, 16 analog channels into the 2 bus. Out of the 2 bus, 2 channels into the converter, back into the DAW. The DAW is Pro Tools. I'm going to show you how to set up your return track next. Pay attention, there's a trick to it. We are also shooting videos about this trick for Logic and Cubase users, but the principle is the same. This is my session. I'm going to create two new stereo tracks. One stereo aux input and one stereo audio track. I'm going to color them red because I'm totally OCD and that's what I do every time. Why do I need an aux track? You do because in Pro Tools, plugins are pre-recording. Meaning that if you put a plugin here on this track and you print to it, you're only going to listen to the plugin, you're not going to print it. So if you want to print it, you got to feed your return from the 2 bus into an aux, put your plugins here, feed the output of that aux into a track and print that, which is what we're going to do right now. Check it out. For input on the aux, I'm selecting input 1, 2. If you remember, that's where I patched my 2 bus into on my patch bay. The output of that goes to a bus that I call print, I thought it would be easy to remember. The input of the print track is print, and the output of that final track is going to be my main monitor. A couple things need to be done. First, let's name them. Let's call this analog return. And the next one, which is your final mix, call it your mix. So, so this is called pointing fingers. Put your name on it, be proud, fabmix1.0. First of many, I'm sure. Then you have to solo save these two tracks. What does that mean? It means that you have to command click on these two S's right here so that when you solo something in the session later, these tracks don't get muted. That will let you solo in your session and still listen to your final mix. Lastly, you need to understand what this button does. This is called the input monitoring button. Input monitor. You're listening either to the input or to what's coming from the track. In our case, you want to listen to the input, which is, well, the output of the print bus. What's the input of the print bus? The output of the aux. What's the input of the aux? The output of the two bus. What's the input of the two bus? The output of the converter. What's the input of the converter? Your session. For those of you who don't have Pro Tools HD, and there's a lot of you, especially now with Pro Tools 9 and later, don't despair, you can do the same thing. Check it out. Same setup, aux track, print track, same routing, same spirit. The difference is you don't have the little I button to toggle the input monitoring. The way you do it is you set your print track in record and use option K, key command, or that menu up there, that menu, to toggle between track and input monitoring. But since we're grown-ups, we use the option K key command. If you get confused as to which mode you're in, either track or input, easy. That square there, if it's green, you're on input. But we're not here just to listen to this stuff. We'd like to record it so we can play it back elsewhere for people like your mother, grandmother, sister, dog, girlfriend. So click the record button. Now if you press record, the whole mess, mix, will get recorded onto this track. Once you've recorded something, when you remove the input monitoring button, you are now listening to what you just recorded. So you can now compare what you recorded and what you're doing right now. There are a lot of practical applications to this. Side note, the Dangerous 2 bus has two sets of outputs. One recording set, the one that I patched back into my converter, and then a monitoring set, 
That one I have always hard patched to my monitor section. Why do I do that? Because now I can listen to either straight output of my two bus or what my digitization and plugins are doing to the sound. It's nice to know. You should be good to go. Have fun mixing with your dangerous two bus. Ciao.